And it is time, and our CEO, Ayman Azad, has put that in motion. So we have a challenge to help our clients reduce their carbon footprint by 10 million tons from now until 2030, and that's well underway. We also understand that we have to move forward in bringing climate tech to the future, to now. So we're working with our clients and amongst our own teams, not only to upskill the 330,000 plus people that we have worldwide on sustainability issues, but also in partnering with our clients to be able to see how we can move their agenda forward in a more time fashion, because as you say, it's time now, and if it's not now, when? You know, our clients face several barriers, and some of them are just technological. So for example, we're looking at how do we bring climate tech forward to help them, whether it's through looking at hydrogen and helping to move into this energy transition, helping them with bringing future of EV and battery to life, or just from a policy perspective, how do we take a look at the IRA and other climate funding initiatives to help advance the funding that will enable our clients to move some of their agenda forward and achieve their net zero and other sustainability goals?